To perform the Cybex Eagle Row, there's a couple of things that we need to adjust first before you get started. We have the seat position, which we can adjust based on the length of your torso, the handles at the back here, and the chest pad position, which we can adjust based on where we are when we go to take those handles. We don't want to be in a position where we're really having to overstretch or stand up to grab the handle. Once the feet are in the correct position, our abdominals are engaged against this pad, and we have a nice upright torso, then we want to comfortably be able to take those handles. Now, arm position. We want to make sure that the arm is roughly 90 degrees or slightly higher at the shoulder. Once we've established that position, we can take the handles. Now, if we're looking to bias the lats here, keep the torso nice and upright. So I don't want you leaning back because that's going to transfer the emphasis into your upper back. A couple of simple cues as well here. What I'd like you to do is to start the movement, take the shoulders away from the ears, and then start to bring the elbows down into your side. So down and then back slightly, but the finished position is to keep the upper arm in line with the torso. When I'm going forward, I'm keeping tension through the lats. I'm letting the shoulders travel forward a little bit, but not too much, but I feel the chest dipping. Then shoulders away from the ears. Keep the upper arm as close to the midline of your body as you can. So the weight here will drop off at the bottom, right? And then it'll get quite harder here. And as you get into that full lengthened position. So it's very important here that you control that part and not just let it fall in front. Hand position. So we want when performing this row to have a two to one ratio between the elbow and the shoulder. So for myself, that's going to roughly be here. See my hand position? So roughly about here. If I go too high in that handle, and I'll show you with a single arm. You can see where my hand is placed and obviously the angle here between the elbow and the shoulder. If I go too low, You can see the actual the way my shoulder wants to travel forward. So for myself, that mid position, and again I'll show you with a single arm. And you'll notice I've actually angled myself a little bit on that one to get a bit of contraction with a single arm. So if you are adjusting your weights, the machine is in pounds and kilos, and then it also has the micro adjustments here as well, so you can go up in five pounds or roughly two and a half kilograms. And that is the Cybex Eagle Row.